Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Mario Vegas and you are watching Tank Zone. Today let's take a look at the BMD4 TS6 Russian Armored Fighting Vehicle. As usually, let's start with history. Uh, this is an infantry fighting vehicle developed uh, for uh, Russian Abon forces. In Russian, BMD-4 is abbreviation of uh, Bayovaya Machina Desanta, which literally uh, translates as a combat vehicle of Abon, because Desanta means um, troops intended uh, for dropping from carriers. Plus, this machine was developed specially for Russia's Abon infantry forces known as VDV. So, uh, BMD-4 is designed and developed uh, by the Volgograd Tractor Factory in late 1990s and early 2000s. And its official manufacturer is uh, Kurgan Mash Zavod, a company based in Kurgan, uh, Russia. Uh, the company's main products are a BMP series of uh, infantry fighting vehicles. But company also produces a wide range of uh, civil products uh, such as uh, small size tractors, construction machines and uh, automobile trailers. So back to BMD-4. BMD-4 was adopted uh, by Russia's armored forces uh, on year 2004 and in 2005 Russia's army received the first batch of these vehicles. The BMD-4 is the latest modification of the armored combat vehicles uh, that can be paradropped uh, uh, with entire crew and passengers inside, which allows instant target engagement after landing uh, to provide firepower and support for airborne troops. Uh, BMD-4 has the same chassis as BMD-3, so it's uh, developed uh, on the same basis. But BMD-4 is one of the lightest and one of the most heavily armed in its class, possessing a substantial amount of firepower in comparison to its counterparts. Uh, main differences between BMD-4 and its uh, predecessors lies in its armament and better armor protection. The vehicle is fitted with Bakhcha U turret, armed with a 100mm 2A70 low-pressure rifle gun, which can simultaneously serve as laser-guided anti-tank missile launcher, and fire high-explosive rounds. Additionally, BMD-4 has a 30mm uh, 2A72 coaxial autocannon. It features advanced uh, fire control system and considerable ammunition load, but its main advantage lies in ability to hit targets with high precision up to 7 km, that's 4 miles away, regardless of whether the vehicle is stationary or on the move, on land or in water. BMD-4 aluminium alloy armor protects against uh, frontal autocannon fire and small arms fire and shell splinters from the side. Vehicle has chemical, biological and nuclear defense systems that ensures its crew and passengers survivability in these hazardous environments. So, if you wish, BMD-4 can be small temporary nuclear fallout bunker on the wheels. So, approximately 60 BMD-4s are built, however, Russia Airborne was never really happy with it. Referring to unreliable base, immobilization if tracks were damaged, by mines in particular, uh, problems with its engine, which uh, was prone to catch fire. Uh, all that and uh, some financial issues uh, that we will not touch in this video fuel its search and development uh, uh, of new BMD-4 modifications, uh, creating handful of uh, BMD-4 variants, uh, which we will not cover in this uh, topic to keep uh, this review concise. Uh, Russia is only operator of BMD-4, 
and this vehicle is still in service as one of the Russia's airborne infantry fighting vehicles. And now let's dive into the game. Uh, let's start with stats. I put stock stats next to my so that you can compare and be informed about uh, those as well. Uh, so, but let's go through my stats. Uh, sustained damage. BMD-4 has powerful anti-tank guided missiles, uh, which can deal a 400 damage with a 700 mm penetration, uh, creating 4097 damage per minute. Uh, with good missile reload time, 5.86 seconds. So, making it serious threat uh, to many vehicles. Defense. Vehicle has uh, 1,900 hit points. Not bad, but it has minimal armor. Uh, 10 to 70 millimeters military aluminium hull armor and steel turret armor with uh, 16 to 80 millimeters thickness. So uh, playing with this vehicle, try to engage and disengage quickly. Uh, release your rockets, sting the enemy and disappear in safety. Mobility. With maximum speed uh, 70 km per hour, acceleration 1.86 seconds, weight 13.6 tons and hull traverse 53.02 degrees per second, BMD-4 is highly mobile flanker and support vehicle. It has low profile which benefits its uh, concealment, so its overall camo is 39% uh, and uh, uh, 47 while standing. Its vision range is uh, 463.8 meters while moving and 518.8 meters while stopped, making it capable to perform scouting duties as well. Uh, let's take a look at targeting. Uh, gun depression minus 6 degrees. Small. But it does not uh, make obstacle if you are using missiles. High elevation 75 degrees, which can be utilized if you must deal with flying targets during PvE mode, as well as in uh, play versus play mode if you must um, fight enemies on elevated positions like ridgelines and similar. Uh, fully aimed accuracy, zero, zero, zero. <laughs> it is not true for auto cannon ammunition and high explosive shells. Accuracy zero simply refers to a guided missile, so that uh, means you can adjust its trajectory and fly pass while the warhead is uh, in the air. Aim time. 0.07 seconds, which is very good, and target traverse 59.13 uh, degrees per second, allowing this baby do that twist. Uh, retrofits. Let's take a look on retrofits. Suggested retrofits for this vehicle are advanced fire control, advanced muzzle uh, reference system, electro-optical absorbing paint, and augment optics. Uh, I chose electro optical absorbing paint, augment optics, and improved telescopic lenses. And the reason for uh, that is my gameplay style. I like to play a BMD4 as a scout at the same time utilizing its capabilities as active support vehicle, laying out anti tank squad ambushes and harassing enemies with missiles and auto cannon fire. So, most of the time, first thing uh, what I do in a game is lying out uh, anti-tank squad ambush and roll back, take concealed position, overlook the battlefield or do some recon and then, depending on situation, jump into the fight as an active AVV support. But there are loads of different other ways to play this vehicle, so, uh, and uh, therefore there are uh, other retrofits which could be um, more useful for that gameplay. Uh, let's take a look at suggested command and crew skills. Uh, as BMD4 commander is suggested Sabrina Washington for camo rating, view range and accuracy improvement. Suggested driver skills are smooth ride 
and off-road driving for gunner, quick draw and sharpshooter skills. And now let's uh, check out BMD4 armament. It has a 100mm 2A70 rifled cannon and 30mm 2A72 auto cannon. Uh, stock stats, um, aiming time uh, is uh, 2.5 seconds, reload time 6.66 seconds. But as uh, we saw uh, that uh, previously, they can be considerably improved. So, ammunition. What about ammunition? BMD-4 has can anti-tank guided missiles with heat warhead which can penetrate 700 mm of armor and deal 400 damage. So these missiles can deal enough of damage on targets with basic steel armor. However, it is not a tandem heat and therefore have difficulties penetrating composite armor and armor enhanced with explosive reactive armor. BMD-4 autocannon is armed with 30mm high explosive ammunition, uh, which, as we know, have low penetration rates, only uh, 10mm, but can cause a, a higher damage if penetrates, and it can deal small amount of damage even if it does not penetrate target. So, it is very suitable uh, to targeting light armored and fast moving vehicles like FEVs and scout tracks, for example. Um, Auto cannon is loaded with a 30mm armored piercing discharging Sabo as well, uh, which is universal in use uh, with its uh, 75 to 150mm penetration. Well, it can be nasty if it hits targets up to the light tank, but it is less effective against the main battle tanks. Uh, talking about uh, main battle tanks, uh, I mostly use this type of ammunition to destroy uh, main battle tanks, tracks, immobilize tank, and then release uh, missiles uh, to target uh, weak spots or leave the job for those uh, who can penetrate the target. Uh, BMD-4 in its uh, possession has uh, 100mm high explosive shells as well. Uh, they have low penetration, but uh, if penetrated, uh, again, they deal a decent damage and can deal small amount of damage even without penetration. Um, uh, personally, I very rarely use them, uh, but they can be useful against uh, lightly armed targets or in case if uh, you encounter armored target uh, with low health against which uh, your missiles are completely useless. Uh, additionally, as a proper Abon infantry assault vehicle, BMD-4 can uh, carry four anti-tank troopers, deploy sniper or mortar squad. Uh, if you do not uh, uh, play with mechanized infantry, you can utilize BMD-4 adjustable suspension. So this vehicle allows uh, you to adjust ground clearance and therefore increase stealth and accuracy, um, of course, at the cost of um, mobility and vision range. And uh, now let's take a look at the BMD-4 Abon Infantry Assault Vehicle in action. Move out. Taking position. Target acquired. Reloading. A squad reporting. In position.
As you can see, BMD4 can be very versatile and nasty support vehicle. Its main advantage uh, is high mobility, good stealth and missile power, uh, which mostly uh, comes from a competitive reload time. So its armor could uh, be something more, but it can be corrected with game style. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, smash thumbs up button, hit the bell and subscribe. That's all for now. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day and see you next time.